So I will be covering accelerating app delivery with AI, and we'll dive right in. Uh, I'm Brett Johnson. I'm the App Solutions Manager here at Fliplet, and also working a lot with our AI tools and making sure we bring them into our app solutions. So uh, what is the agenda? Um, well, first, we'll talk generally about how we believe uh, AI can be used in app development. I'll cover off all of the uh, AI features we already have, as well as some that are upcoming. Uh, I'll go over what we're going to be covering in the demo. And then, uh, yeah, I'll actually give you a live demo of a small handful of AI features. Um, won't have time to do more than just a couple, but uh, we'll dive right in. So how can AI be used in app development? There's quite a process that app builders need to go through. Um, Ian talked about this earlier in the keynote as well. You need to plan out your app. You need to create content. You need to design it. You need to actually build it. Uh, hopefully test it very well, give it uh, to pilot users, launch it. Even after the launch, you still have to promote it and analyze and review and potentially go back through the process to uh, set up updates and other things. So quite a lengthy process. And we are focusing on um, using AI with uh, a variety of priorities to address these. So we want to speed up app delivery. Uh, we want to save you uh, costs and time and really get you through the first phases of this uh, stage here um, as quick as possible. We then want to add new high value features. Uh, we want to make the apps more compelling uh, and interesting to the end users. Of course, we want to make apps easier to use, uh, having things like better search, uh, data analysis, um, you know, some of those features uh, we've talked about. Increased usage and engagement with apps. Um, again, better. Uh, Things like uh, translation uh, would make it easier for people to uh, engage with an app in a different language, their native language maybe, um, better analysis and feedback data as well. Uh, and finally, differentiate from competitor apps by using AI to offer new capabilities. So uh, a lot of things that I've already mentioned, things like image generation, there's endless possibilities with AI of, of what you can manage uh, and how you can really make your app stand out. So our current AI features, uh, it is quite a list here. So um, app planning, uh, we've kind of broken this up into these separate sections. Um, so when planning your app, um, we have a, an app plan generator. Uh, this is for like the business cases, potentially something for you to share with stakeholders. Uh, and we'll go through that later today. So I won't touch on it too much, but um, explains why you need an app, some of the features of the app, how you can measure success, things like that. Uh, promotion plan generator. So we think it's really important to schedule things out and plan out how you're going to promote your app. Uh, an actual promotion generator, which is going to help you create email, social media, or internal messages uh, to promote your app. Uh, test and pilot planning. So we know uh, a lot of people may not be familiar with, uh, you know, if you're not in tech, you may not be familiar with the QA process or how to go about testing an app. So we're using AI to uh, help you generate uh, plans for a variety of different audiences. They may be technical, they may be non-technical, they may be internal, they may be clients. Uh, we can kind of help uh, you set all of those up and have a plan for how to test. Data generation. So uh, generating data inside forms, you'll see that today. Uh, actually generating data sources and sample data uh, is something we can do as well. We have a screen template for that. Uh, being able to generate new screens. So along with the data that we generate, we can generate um, forms and lists from data source components uh, on separate screens. So you'll see a list of your data, and then you'll have a form to be able to manage that data. Um, and of course, you may want to go in and adjust it and change the fields or make it admin only. Um, but just using AI can generate that for you in a couple of minutes uh, and really speed up uh, the ability to add new features or new sections to your app. Uh, we can generate new fields inside of forms. Uh, so uh, as Tony just covered all of the new form features we have, some of that will be powered by AI to help you uh, understand or create a whole form uh, just by telling AI what you want. Uh, and image generation, and we'll show that off today. That's a pretty cool feature as well. Uh, inside of app management, so for your end users, you can have uh, a universal search, which we've talked about previously in, in this summit, uh, or even a chat bot. Uh, you can process lists. So the list from data source component can have a summarization. Uh, you can have an analyze or a translate button. And again, that would just be able to convert the text or uh, summarize it. 
Uh, and then data source and feedback analysis. So you can look at uh, the data inside of the app. Uh, again, this could be something like session feedback for an event. Uh, give that to AI, which you know could be hundreds or thousands of records. And in just a couple of minutes, it can generate a report for you. So it really takes the monotony out of kind of combing through data uh, and gives you kind of a summary or, or an overall analysis, which is really useful. Uh, some of these features are available already uh, for free. If you want to go ahead and scan that QR code on screen uh, or just go to flipwood.com and look at our free tools section, uh, the app plan generator, the promotion plan generator, the promotion generator, and the test and pilot planning uh, are all live. We're making some adjustments and adding some additional features as well, uh, hopefully in the next couple of weeks. All right, so let me go over what we're going to demo, and that'll take up the bulk of this section here. Um, so we're going to cover the kind of in the plan phase. Uh, I'm going to show you how the app planner works. Uh, in the build phase, we'll do content generation. Uh, design phase, we'll do image generation. Uh, test and piloting, we'll go over the testing planner. And promotion, uh, won't show off the promotion plan generator, but I'll show the actual promotions that we can generate uh, and how to use that. So let me dive into Studio here, and I will show you a variety of tools here. We'll start off with the app plan generator. And we will go in and let's just use an example of, I want to build a learning app. Um, that seems relevant as we're planning to add AI features to it next year. So if I choose the Flipit learning solution, uh, it's going to give me the description and uh, kind of an overview here. I can adjust this, of course, if it doesn't fit uh, what I'm including in my app, but it is based off of the learning solution as we have it. Uh, choose where it's gonna be available. I'll say it's just a public app and it's on the app stores and as a website. And then it's going to generate, uh, just based off of this description, uh, all of these fields for us. Um, and we can come in and uncheck them. Maybe I already have an app name, so I can unselect that and it won't generate it. Uh, but all of these sections will be generated in a plan for us by AI. If there's anything uh, additional information we want to add, uh, we can do that here. Um, we are, again, already populating based on selecting the learning solution at the top, uh, some of the features and functionality. So you may want to adjust that. But we can leave everything else blank and just kind of let AI come up with it on its own. Uh, so I'll just click generate. And this will take uh, maybe a minute to send all of the information to AI and get it all back. But essentially, uh, just again, based off of the overview, it's going to generate a full plan for us. We're going to be able to review it uh, inside of the app here. Um, and then I can save it. Um, you know, when you use the uh, this tool, uh, you will have to sign in and create an account. Uh, but then you'll be able to save this information against your account. So uh, it's created a business plan for learning app. It's suggested some names for us. Uh, it's given us a reason for building the app. Again, it's very general. You may want to tailor this to your specific use case, but you can come in and edit it here. Or again, you can just scroll up and adjust some of these sections and generate it again. It generated that pretty quick. Uh, the audience that we want to target, uh, where it's going to be available. Success metrics. This is something I think a lot of clients struggle with is understanding how they can measure success. And some of these numbers may be way off. We may only be deploying it to like 100 people. So we'll have 100 sessions. Uh, but you can adjust that and it'll give you good ideas. Um, app feature, features and functionality, it'll lay that out for you and how um, it should also be structured in the suggested screen structure section. Uh, that's going to you know, help you understand the layout of your app and how uh, you should go about building it. Of course, this is based off a of solution, but uh, you may have something totally custom and not be sure how to include things. Uh, Security is often very important, and we've given it um, some pointers on how our security is structured. So AI should structure this uh, towards Flipwit's system. Types of users, uh, you know, it's important to outline the various roles and responsibilities they have. Any content that may be required. This is uh, something, again, a lot of clients sometimes struggle with, making sure that you have all of your content ready before uh, you even start building sometimes, so you can structure it around that content. Uh, external integrations you may want to have, how you're going to go about training people on the app. Uh, maintenance, there may be content updates or other things you need to be concerned about with maintenance. And then future phases, this is kind of AI suggesting uh, features you could add. Uh, you can take this section out or adjust it. 
And again, in our tool, you'd be able to just save this and view it to later. But let's go ahead and uh, move on to the next section, which is uh, I'm going to use basically a manage news screen as an example. Uh, but there are a variety of different uh, use cases you can use this for. So uh, I'm essentially going to create a news article and I'm only going to put in a title and I'm going to let AI generate everything else. So uh, it, Respect to AI, we'll say new AI features in our learning app. So I've just given it a, a title and I can click generate content. And with that title, AI is going to generate a couple of paragraphs for us. Um, you know, discover the exciting new AI features in our learning app. It's obviously very generic based on the title I gave it, but um, it's cool that it just kind of can very quickly generate content for you. Sometimes it's much easier to come in here and edit this content than try to think up something from scratch. Uh, and then the other cool part of this, we've put this in one form. You can separate these out or use these separately, but we also have image generation. So I may want to have an image and um, I'll just go ahead and click generate. It's going to take the title and the content and create an image prompt. Um, and you can see it already did that here while it's still generating the image. I can review this prompt. Um, basically, ChatGPT has come up with a very good image generation prompt that it will then used to create an image uh, based off of the data I've provided. Um, and so we've got kind of a, a cool image here. It's, you know, someone in like a library setting using an app. So it's, you know, got a learning focus. It's got an AI focus. Um, it even looks like it says learning there. Sometimes AI isn't great with text, but it looks pretty good. We are using the new Dolly 3 for this. So uh, pretty impressive. And I can just save that. And this could be part of an admin screen. This could be part of a user screen but it just really quickly helps you accelerate how you can deliver content. Um, and you can brand this image as well. We've just gone with a very generic style, uh, but you can adjust that in the prompt or even in the back end uh, to always generate with certain colors or uh, again, in a certain style. Um, so let's say that we've generated the content for our learning app. We wanna go in and um, focus on testing the app. So we'll look at the test plan generator here. Again, I can just easily select the learning solution and it's going to fill out most of this information for me. Uh, what's an overview of the app? What are the features? And based on this uh, and where it's going to be available and the audience I choose, I'll just choose non-technical. Uh, it's going to generate a plan for that audience, uh, how they should test these features, um, how they should log issues. Uh, if it's a process you're not familiar with, it's really great because it gives you ideas. If it is a process you're familiar with, it still simplifies it and make sure that you're very thorough in testing all of these features. And it will, uh, again, output into just a text field that you can edit, you can adjust it if um, things aren't totally accurate. So uh, testing plan for non-technical stakeholder audience. Uh, it tells you how to set it up. Uh, again, you may need to adjust this. Uh, all of the different features that you should test and how you go about testing them, confirmation of you know this is passing, this is failing. Uh, separate environments, so the app store, web links, and how to report issues. So again, it's just really quickly generated a plan for us that we can use. Um, and lastly, I won't show off the actual promotion uh, generator. Uh, it just takes a little bit longer to fill out, but uh, at various stages, you can create promotions for your app. So you provide it all the information about your app, and you can generate social media posts, emails, internal messages, or it can even help you uh, set up the app store listings for the Google Play and Apple app stores. I'll just show you some that I created. So for our learning app, um, I have created some uh, emails and social media posts. Each time you do it, uh, it generates three of each, which is really useful. We think you can kind of choose between them, but it's generated an email subject and some content here for us, um, which is really useful. And for social media, it's created uh, a post and it has uh, emojis and it has hashtags. So it's just kind of uh, a little bit less formal, uh, a little bit more appropriate to social media. Um, and I can take these as is, or I can adjust them, or I can go back and regenerate them again, but really useful tool. Um, so again, most of these tools are uh, available for free if you want to take a look uh, on our website.